Welcome to the Cardigan Empire YouTube channel. Today we continue in our men's fashion series with Steve who is going to show us how to pick the perfect suit. Now, a suit may be the most substantial investment in your closet. And it's stitched together by tradition and distinguished by functional details. So we're gonna go through it step by step to make sure you get it right. Prior to starting your suit search, we need to identify three parameters. The first one is your financing. We need to determine the width of your wallet. Second, we need to determine your figure. So we need to make sure that we're addressing your individual proportions. And finally, we need to address your formality, whether you're going to be in a concert hall or a cubicle. Then we need to look at the four primary details that differentiate our suits. There are lapels, pockets, buttons, and fabric. When we're looking at lapels, a thinner lapel between two and a quarter inch and two and three quarter inch is gonna be more elegant. As it widens somewhere between three and three and a half inches, it becomes more executive. Now, two and three quarters is currently the standard and you can go down to two inches if you have a really slim build, but you wanna make sure that your stature stands up to this, you know, the state of the lapel. So if you are on the stouter side, your lapel needs to follow suit. When it comes to shape, the notch is the classic. If you're looking to replace your 10th grade debate uniform and you're only gonna have one suit in your closet, make sure it's a notch, it's gonna be the most versatile. Next, we have peaked lapels. Peaked are gonna be a little more rakish, more formal, and so if you want something with a little more personality and you already have a few options in your closet, feel free to explore there. Finally, we have the shawl collar, which is usually relegated to tuxedos and smoking jackets. So unless you have Hugh Hefner responsibilities, it's probably best to not pull it out on an everyday basis. Pockets come in three different varieties. We have the flapped one, which is a classic. It can take you pretty much everywhere. Then we have the jetted style pocket. It's more of a tuxedo option, and it's ever so much more slightly formal. Finally, we have the rounded pocket. This is usually a collegiate style. It's more playful and scholarly, and it's gonna just give you more of a laid back vibe. When it comes to buttoned, more buttoned is literally more buttoned up, so it's going to be more formal. Most people are going to want to go with a two or a three button suit. Now a two button suit gives you a nice long V, it's gonna make you appear taller, so that's a great option for most people. If you're already quite tall, you might wanna opt for a three button suit. That's gonna break up your silhouette more and make you feel less awkward or lanky. A double breasted suit is probably for advanced users only. It's difficult for many body types to wear and it can look awkward if you have even the littlest bit of stoutness down there. So once again, advanced users only. Finally, as far as buttoning them, King Edward VII was too stout to button that bottom button, so neither should you. We do not want him to feel uncomfortable. Although he was only in the early 1900s, we want to make sure we pay respect, and our tailors have made our jackets specifically to leave that button undone. So if it's a two button, only button the top. If it's a three button, only button the middle. And leave that top button and the bottom button undone. That's particularly flattering if you have a three roll two suit. Finally, as far as if you're sitting down, make sure you unbutton it. When you stand back up, fasten it again. Fabric is a very important consideration as we're picking out our suit. We wanna make sure that we have something that is going to be appropriate for whatever season we're in, and we wanna make sure we have a color that is appropriate for our complexion and for the variety of activities we'll be participating in. A lot of times what you'll see is with worsted wool, you'll see a number of 80 to 220. That's how many times the yarn has been twisted. The more times it's been twisted, the lighter weight it's going to be and the more expensive it's going to be. So make sure if you're just getting started, you want something all season. And you wanna make sure that it's going to be able to be pretty versatile in and out. You don't want something with too busy of a pattern and too much texture. So this is a nice blue classic. It's a great color, gray is also good. You want something that's going to be able to take you into a lot of different environments and be really flexible for you. The other thing when you're looking at fabric is look at its potential for separation. So if you have a fabric that has a high sheen, it's gonna be a little less versatile for you. When you have something that is has a little more of a casual quality, then you're gonna be able to separate your suit, pair it with a pair of jeans, pair it with a khaki. When you're doing your separates, just make sure you have one part business, one part casual, and everything is neatly fitted. Fit is one of the most critical components of your suit, so let's make sure we nail it exactly right. And once you purchase your suit, make sure you take it to the tailor and let him correct it exactly to your figure. First, your shoulder pads should end with your shoulders. Second, your flat hand should slip easily into your suit under the lapels where the top or middle button is fastened. If you put a fist in, the suit should pull at the button. Third, the top button of a two button suit or the middle button of a three button suit should not fall below your navel. Fourth, with your arms at your sides, your knuckles should be even with the bottom of your jacket. An easy way to tell if your jacket fits correctly is to stand with your arms relaxed at your sides, your hands cupping the bottom of the jacket. If the jacket bunches in your palms, it's too long. 
Fifth, jacket sleeves should fall where the base of the thumb meets your wrist. Sixth, between a quarter and a half inch of shirt cuff should be visible. Seventh, you want a one inch break on the hem of your trouser. Thanks for watching the men's fashion series. For more ideas, be sure to subscribe to my channel.